it is very important they also begin operating on 1st March. They should be more than ready to receive students because students have been at home for a number of months, meaning that every student is anxious to go back to school. So if we begin saying that we are not in position to open up because government promised and did not deliver, then in a, in a way we shall not have served the students and the parents. So, please, liaise with the responsible ministry, which is Minister of Education, to fast track government is commitment, government is pledge, but as, meanwhile, as you plan to begin operating. If you feel that you are constrained, you cannot be in position to begin, kindly advise the parents to take their children to government schools. I believe this is the time for parents to begin organizing the children. Now that we have one week to report back to school, it calls for parents to take on their responsibilities, but also the school proprietors to organize their schools to be in position to receive the same candidates, but also prepare for the finalists to begin their examinations in a conducive environment. For the incidents like that of last week are rare and shouldn't define what Uganda has achieved in the media industry. We call upon everyone to accept the regrets from the CDF with an open heart. Let us not criticize him. He came up as the head of institution, gave his regrets, and also pledged to make a few. For us, what we are looking at are guidelines being developed. We believe that they can help you. And these guidelines, uh, we believe that both parties should be consulted. You sit together in a room, brainstorm, this time not about covering news, but thinking through how best can we work together?